Sophia from Group Femina. We are going to present our problem 3 for the social enterprise course. Uh, let me introduce our group member. Uh, on my right is uh, Muhammad Faik bin Alwi. I'm Nadima Kamaruddin and this is Shamila Abdul Karim. Okay, uh, let's go to our topic. Okay. Okay, for the issue of our um, social enterprise project we are going to tackle the issue of improper drying of clothes at PPR Lembah Subang. As you can see here, this is the true picture of what is happening at PPR Lembah Subang. They are drying their clothes at the window because there is no specific or designated place for them to dry their clothes. So you can see they are hanging it here, here and also at the front door. So, um, we come up with the problem 3, which is the improper way of drying clothes in PPRT Lembah Subang. It has caused health problem and spoiled the view. As you can see, uh, the drying technique is not very good and also the view is not nice because of the, uh, the way they are drying their clothes. Okay, the reason or the cause of this problem is because there is no designated place for them to dry their clothes and also the residents do not use laundry service. And this is due to the fact that they are from low-income families, so they cannot afford to use the laundry service. The underlying causes of this problem, first, are the design of the building. As you can see, there is no veranda at the PPR Basubang, and also the income level of the residents, so they could not afford to go to the laundry. For the next part, I will uh, let my friend Mila to continue. Okay, thanks, Nadim. Okay, proposed solution. Daripada permasalahan tadi yang uh, Nadi maklumkan berkenaan dengan um, permasalahan rumah flat yang um, kita macam kalau kita tengok ada banyak pakaian-pakaian yang tak tersusun. Uh, solutionnya adalah what? For the bus self service laundry at PPR Lembah Subang. Di sini adalah uh, salah satu penyelesaian untuk permasalahan tadi. How? Okay, one, uh, utilize the unused space under the house. Mana kita boleh um, macam um, um, menggunakan ruang yang ada. Uh, Maknanya tiada permasalahan untuk um, uh, menggunakan ruang yang 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 sempit ataupun yang sedikit. Okay, operate by the resident under the resident association. Okay, di sini. Um, di mana uh, residen itu sendiri akan mewujudkan satu persatuan untuk membantu uh, menyelesaikan permasalahan dengan mewujudkan koperasi. Okay, outcome yang pertama, efficient washing and drying solution for the resident. Itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, improve quality of life of the resident. Di mana bila dah kita wujudkan uh, di segi uh, koperasi, kita wujudkan, kita tampak kat sini ada washing machine, di segi untuk dry, uh, dry cleaning uh, Lepas tu macam pen, uh, tempat ruang nampak lebih uh, selesa lah untuk resident tu sendiri Okay yang ketiga Income generation opportunity for the resident Mana di samping uh, membantu uh, menjimatkan ruang Dan membantu uh, quality hidup uh, resident tu sendiri lebih baik Dan membantu dia orang untuk menambah pendapatan Okay uh, saya serahkan kepada kawan saya Faiz Okay, the next part will be the partner and the resources. Okay, the partner involved, the first one is Dewan Bandar Raya Kuala Lumpur DBKL. And the function and the, uh, all the details is uh, for them to approve to use the common area for laundry service and to license uh, to operate the business. The second uh, partner is Tenaga National Berhad PNB. And the details involved the for them to give discounted electric tariff for the laundry service. The third one, Petronas. Petronas, why? Because they can give discounted rate for the gas uh, cylinders for the dryer, for the dryer machine. For the fourth one, the electrical companies, for them to donate washing machine and dryers. Okay. Uh, next, Ministry of Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government, for them to sponsor the renovation of the laundry area, the laundry space. Uh, then the last one is crowdfunding to fund the other expenses for the initial operation uh, for the laundry. Okay, next part is uh, okay. This is the organization structure for Amina Group. We have a project director, project manager, and the project coordinator. 
then this is the the summary of our, of our flowchart we have the issue we have the solution then we have the partner then we have the impact whether there's uh, the impact would be there should be feel happy and healthy okay that's all for for our group thank you so much bye. okay bye